Hello everyone, good evening at these are the news at 5. Despite playing a key role in ending Malaysia's political turmoil, Gabungan Parti Sarawak GPS will not demand any ministerial pause in the new administration of Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin. Parti Pesaka Bumi Putra Bersatu Vice President Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza reiterated that GPS main reason to support is not for any ministerial pause at the federal government but to stop all uncertainty shouting the country after former Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir announced his resignation. Well, as what has been mentioned by Yang Ahmad Muhammad Ketua Menteri, what we want is a stable Malaysia. That is the reason why we come in to support. Our main reason for supporting is not to fight for post. Our main reason for supporting is we want to stop all this uncertainty. If there is uncertainty, our stock market is affected. Everything is affected and we live in fear. Nak bergaduh ke tidak orang ni? Because when you see every day macam nak bapak tak berperang. So everybody takut. Kita nak pergi KL pun takut, anak pergi sekolah pun takut. So we want to erase all this uncertainty and it turns out to be good. When because of GPS, everything stabilized. Now we have got a government. A Prime Minister has been thrown in. So everybody, the stock market pun jadi bagus. So we have achieved that. So the next step would be for the Prime Minister to appoint his cabinet. Let him handle that part. However, Abdul Karim says if given a good ministerial pause, such as to fill in as Deputy Minister, Minister of Finance or even Home Affairs Minister, GPS would be very happy. On another matter, Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza said that DAP should stop blaming GPS for their downfall as the federal government. He opined that the PS federal government was the fault of its own component parties and stressed that it is nothing to do with GPS. We have not disturbed any this one. We have we only look after our state government very well. And we have been doing the project which they did not do. The Pen Borneo Highway was suspended. Project Sekolah Sekolah Naib tidak berjalan. Uh, the coastal highway, the bridges which they stop, we have to carry on. There are a lot of other things, even in my area, Masjid Surau, di, di Bekukan, we have to take over. Uh, so, we did not disturb them. Why blame us? <laughs> so blame them, but then blame themselves. And while blaming themselves, I have to congratulate them. Uh, tahniah kepada DAP. Taniah kepada PKR kerana menjatuhkan kerajaan mereka sendiri. Uh. He reiterated that GBS only look after Sarawak government very well. And DAP should bear in mind that in Sarawak's context, they are the one in the opposition bloc. Dato Sri Wan Junaidi Tuan Ku Jafar, integrity and honour restored following the Kuching High Court revealed the defamation case against Sarawak's DAP Chongqin Jen has reached an amicable settlement. This prompted the presiding High Court Judicial Commissioner Dr. Lim Hock Lang to pass an order to strike out their respective claim and counterclaim of both litigating parties subject to the terms of the settlement. The term said Chong should not only withdraw his statement branding against Wan Junaidi as hypocrite, that the plaintiff Wan Junaidi, but also acknowledge that he is a man of honour and integrity. On top of that, Chong should also pay Wan Junaidi a cost of 25,000 ringgit and that Wan Junaidi is to withdraw his present claim with no liberty to file it afresh. That's all from me and Manoruben. Anytime, anywhere.